You know, many of these individuals, many of the refugees come from countries that were more socialistic, more collective um, in their governments, and coming to the United States is a very independent, um, self-reliant, and um, goal-oriented you know, um, country, and it's it's a different walk of life. It's a different system. Um, it makes it very hard, and with all the fear, with the um, pain that they still hold on to, I think um, that I kind of go back to. It does take time, and their expectation that the Americans, um, I think, uh, may have a hard time with. Well. They should, okay, get the job, they have a certain amount of time, we'll learn the language and get going. And um, these individuals walking down the street, you can't really tell their pain because they, um, you know, they may not be in wheelchairs, they may not be on crutches. Physically, you may not be able to see it, but at the same time, there's so much fear and lack of trust and unknowing um, what the next day is going to hold, but yet they still continue and move forward. Um, and we want to be able to help them and know that they're not alone. You go to the basics. Do they have food? Do they have shelter? Are they still together? So not only are they still holding on to the murderous situations that have happened during the wars, but also fleeing for safety constantly. And then they finally get here in St. Louis. Um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of unknowingness. Um, I believe many of them are very grateful, but also frazzled, unsure, struggling to know where are they, who are they now, and just rebuilding their lives and what that looks like. If, if many of the community in St. Louis can understand or at least make themselves aware of that, it does open our arms out a little bit more.